from Britain Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you do, how to do is steps 12 through uh, 15 on the newspaper project. And what we're going to do today is we're going to add a table. Uh, the table is going to contain uh, other information that's contained in the story. I call it the inside edition. We'll have a little uh, snippet about sports, weather, world, and local. So those are the steps we're going to do is, is 12 to 15. So let's show you how to, how to do this now. So we've got our story that we'd done in our previous tutorials up here, and we got to this point. So now we're going to go underneath our columns, place our cursor there, and go to the Insert menu. And we're going to select Table. We're going to simply draw a table that's 2 by 5, just like that. Now we only want this table to take up about half of our page. So to do this, we have to pay special attention to our pointer. We're in the right location, it'll have two arrows pointing left and right. When we're there, we click and hold, and we can drag that center line over. We can do the same thing to the other line and drag it over as well. Second step is we're going to merge these top two cells. We just highlight them, select Merge Cells, and we're going to type in Inside Edition. Then we'll type in the other part, Sports, World. Let's put that down here. If you want to just grab a word, you can actually just drag it, just like that. Uh, weather, Sports, World, Weather, and Local is the other story. And then you'll make up something that happened in those. So maybe you'll say in the weather it's uh, sunny and 82 degrees or something. And by the way, if you want to insert degree symbol, use this symbol area. And if you go to more symbols, there's generally generally a degree symbol in one of the different uh, uh, fonts. So that looks like it right there. So we'll insert that close, and there we go. So you'll be able to make up all those different things. Now, <clears throat> the other things we talked about with this table is how to customize it. So we can customize the font and all those other things, but we can also uh, customize the box itself. So if we right-click on it, we can go to Table Properties, and we can adjust uh, a lot of different things there. We can also... Uh, change the uh, the borders and shading of the table. So if we want to have a, a border that's a little bit different, maybe a double line border, we can do that and it looks like that. I don't really like that, but we can do things like that as well. So a lot of different things we can do. We can even uh, shade in individual cells. So if we wanted to shade it, there's several ways to do it. You can either right click or you can go to the Home tab and there's a little shading area here and we can shade it with whatever color that we like to give it maybe you know maybe a different color scheme for whatever you're working on so this is all up to you you can do different things like that uh, lots of different things you can do to play with it and make it basically your own so we'll leave all that up to you so that's basically how you add a table to your document thank you